humans are clearly a product of natural selection, but thousands of years ago we began to place barriers and buffers between ourselves and the elements to protect ourselves from the slings and arrows of the natural world. And that does beg a question. Has all our technology sheltered us not only from nature, but from natural selection itself? It's a question that scientists have wondered about ever since Darwin's time. Has our culture, our technology, stopped us evolving? Are we the same as the people that emerged in Africa 200,000 years ago? It's an incredibly difficult question to answer. The trouble is, how do we find out if we've changed? I've come to Oxford, where there's an ancient clue that might help to unravel the mystery. Tucked away in the university's Natural History Museum are the oldest bones of a modern human ever found in the UK. They were discovered by the Reverend William Buckland 180 years ago. It seems that Buckland thought that these could be the bones of a, a witch from Roman times. And they're stained with ochre, they have this reddish appearance, so she became known as the Red Lady of Paviland, and the name has stuck. But we now know that these are not the bones of a 2,000-year-old woman, and I can see very clearly that this pelvis is male. These are the bones of a man who lived 33 thousand years ago. Thirty-three thousand years ago was before the peak of the last ice age. When he was alive, the Red Lady of Pavilan shared the planet with Neanderthals, and woolly mammoths still roamed the Earth. So are these bones the same as mine? Because if they are, perhaps we have stopped evolving. Now, I'm a physical anthropologist. I've looked at hundreds of skeletons. But if I didn't know how old these bones were, that they'd been radiocarbon dated to 33,000 years ago, I'd believe you if you told me they were a few hundred years old. Of course, there's variation in skeletons. There's variation in our bodies. Each of us will have a different skeleton. But these bones fit within that modern range of variation. There's nothing in this skeleton to suggest we've changed over millennia. So perhaps our use of technology and culture really has put us out of reach of natural selection and halted our evolution. <laughs>